Voy a entrar al baño de allá. I think that when people start to understand that gender can exist on a spectrum and that your story is different to my story is different to someone else's story, it's just, it is more complex because there's more than two answers. Pussy about to end this drought. Dress down to my Giuseppe Zanotti. Actually, just kidding, half off. <laughs> still Giuseppe's though. We're still Giuseppe's. In my mood. A Cromwell. A Cromwell. Yay! Welcome to Courtney Fact. Feminism is one of those words that everybody seems to have a lot of feelings about. So much so that it was one of Miriam Webster's words of the year for 2017. El baile de los niños. Dancing, dancing.
Cynthia Lee Fontaine, la cucu. Hola, Miss Mora, the candy de Sahara. Erika La Fontaine. Ah. You are not La Fontaine anymore, sister. Te jodiste, el cucu. Ah, Miss Mora. Party. Party. This is how much I give about negativity or bad comments. New Cynthia, new year, new me, positive all the time. Nothing can stop me. Envío todo comentario de negatividad y toda crítica negativa a la... Cynthia Lee Fontaine viene más fuerte que nunca, señoras y señores. Feliz 2018. Chao. So a lot of you guys have been hearing me rave about these lovely tucking panties. And here they are from Trans Lingerie. Go check them out, you guys. So what makes these different from any like gaff or any other um, tucking panty is first and foremost, the material. It's sheer, it's comfortable, breathable, but it's also very thick um, for sturdy support. But what really sets Trans Lingerie apart from any other tucking panty that I've ever used is in the crotch area, there's this little hard plastic pill that really just snatches you good and gets you together, girl. If you go on their website, you'll see that they come in so many different fabrics, styles. They have cute little bows, ones with lace. So much variety. I can't wait to try these out, you guys. Okay, well, as you guys can see, she gives you the onlyest snatch and um a lot of gas in the past have been too tight on me on the side and it kind of smashes the hips down but these are lovely <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's a lovely morning here in LA. Today, I'm getting my hair redone. So I'm just here getting my new extensions and seeing what else I get into. Okay, you guys, so I'm not even like a full fan of Super Mario like that, but this set has me shook. Look at how cute this packaging is. Are you kidding me? Shook. Now, what I am a fan of is Shumura. Yes, ma'am. They just provide me with all the skin goals that I need, and actually, this is one of my favorite products by them. Ooh, look at this packaging. <laughs> It is the Sublime Beauty Cleansing Oil. One pump of this sucker all over your face. Wipe it off with a wet towel and you're good to go. Literally my favorite product to take off my makeup with. So you should check it out. They were also so sweet to give me this Sakura Makeup Refresher Mist. Mmm. Oh my god, you guys literally smell so good. Stunning. Love it. Thank you, Shumara.
Okay, we're getting Get it ready. ready. Getting it ready. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Blow out the candles, Gorge. Happy birthday, home. Happy birthday, home. Happy birthday, home. Happy birthday, We have made a collective decision that we are now going to sponsor a pageant called The Page in Los Angeles. So get yes. your gig together. Alyssa, Latrice, we need you to be distinguished adjudicators. So here's some little tea, okay? So all the girls, when we first came in the door for All Stars, we get like this amazing gift of makeup. And boo yeah, guess who's going through it today? Woo! We're so excited. Baby, all. Oh, baby, this Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow in Peach Fizz. Look at that. <gasps> oh, my gosh. That's my new highlight. Be Can I get it on? Just a lovely day over here getting a fresh, simple mug by Sir Tony. Yes, getting ready for this lovely interview with C-Squared Crucial Conversations with the one and only host, Valentine. Dewan Valentine. Where bitches like Jasmine Rice and Monistat get their hair cut. Bricks. Because they're fucking bricks.
All right, we are checking in to the Young Arts Campus. And don't forget, on January 18th, I'll be hosting hashtag Laganja's Dance School here at the Jewel Box on Young Arts Campus. Come get sickening! All right, we are getting our lanyards set up for our winners tomorrow. I'm so excited to meet all my dancers. Yes! Come on, doodles. Is that what that's called? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, fruits and vegetables! Now get to bed, kids! <laughs> fruits and vegetables round, round up! up.
it's yeah, out, it'll be like two years. jumbo ears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, honey, we get it. <laughs> Mark will love that I should have this on. We have a running love affair. Yes. Nobody has a name. We won't have many names. What are you doing, silly cat? Oh, I don't think you're going to find that kind of old lady. I'm going to tell you what I have to say. Let me cut to the point. The man we're both looking for is Ben. Calabans is what he is. I'm exterminating.
¿Van a comer rosca de reyes? ¿Rosca de reyes? All right, so I'm home. It's Three Kings Day, and I'm going to make cream of um, asparagus soup. Yeah, isn't that nice? Cream of asparagus. <laughs> I love cooking. And I also want to tell you that last night I was watching PBS and... Uh, Really good station, I'm proud of PBS. Um, they're the ones that did the documentary, the Two-Spirit documentary, Natale, Two-Spirit, Navajo. That's right, so they did that documentary and they showed this special on President Kennedy. And come to find out, John F. Kennedy had a homosexual best friend that even lived in the White House with him. Wow. That's right, a homosexual friend that even lived in the White House with him, John F. Kennedy. I, I don't know if the guy's name was Glenn or what his name was, but he took care of John F. Kennedy when he was in college, and they went on trips together and everything else. Amazing. So that's the story. <laughs> John F. Kennedy had a gay friend, very close, Cola, best friends. Cola is um, Sue, uh, for, or Lakota, for dear best friend. Yeah. So, Kola is Lakota, Sioux Indian for best friend, like soulmate best friend. And then Navajo, for their two spirits, they call them Natle. All right, there you go. Little education on Three Kings Day. Here just doing my stretching. And look who won't leave me alone. Angel butt. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> awesome. Angel butt stretches. I want to show you who I've been working with. These two rag queens. Awesome. Do you like it? Yeah. Can't wait till you see these these little ladies. That's right. Can't wait till you see them. Mm-hmm. Awesome. <laughs> All right. I want to say good night. Good night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just working on rag queens. Uh-huh, that's right, at home, working on rag queens. Woo, yeah, ooh, look at her. She's gonna be so cool, Siamese twin action. Ooh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, senorinos y senoritas. <laughs> it's taking a little longer than I expected, and um, now Angel Butt is trying to get in there and eat it. No, Angel Butt. So this is what it looks like here. Um, it's gonna have little ears, the one side. The other side, she's gonna have a wig. So I'll have to make her wig tomorrow and perhaps some other accessories to go with them. And then they'll be done. As far as other accessories go, that will be decided tomorrow. Rag Queen's in the making, taking longer than I expected and Angel Butt is trying to get it. <laughs> what a pity, huh? I should charge more money for these, shouldn't I?
Good morning. Um, so I'm very excited. So uh, my Fitbit tells me that last night I got six and a half hours sleep. Can you believe that? That's amazing. I've been so busy and so much on my mind lately that I've only been averaging four hours sleep. I feel like a new woman. Hi guys. So a lot of you have been asking questions about um, the mask for Priscilla. Um, and previously we've kept them a secret because we want people to be like, oh my God, that's amazing how they get the makeup on so quickly. But because they return season, now the 10 years of being around the world, there are no more secrets. So I'm more than happy now to, um, to uh, talk about them and brag about them and show you all about them. Um, so they're used for quick changes in, from boy to girl, or boy to drag, because they do it so many times during the show, they can't end so far, so they can't possibly be doing makeup changes, you know, in full drag, in and out, numerous times in the show, in seconds. So that's what they're used for, and they're very effective on stage. They look a bit, they're a bit hard up close, because they're not that it moves, they've been moulded to their face. But, um, and, um, and many of you have been asking if I designed them, and I didn't design them. Um, I'm the associate makeup designer, so I assisted the designer. And the designer is a fabulous woman named Cassie Hanlon, who um, worked on the film and won a BAFTA for her work on the film. And I'll show you a picture of her now. That's Cassie, she's gorgeous. And so um, over the years, I've sort of tweaked them and add, added my own little flair to them, my own drag flair to them. Um, because I get to see them, well, I used to get to see them on stage every single night, so I go, oh, that needs a little bit more flair, it's that. It's taken years to refine them. It's yeah, as I said, it's taken years to refine them. And, um, and I mean, it's like my seventh or eighth time doing this show, mounting this show. So it's, um, so it's, it's it, and I think this time it's been good. I think I've got the perfect amount of black and color. Although I did do them very fast because of the time involved. Um, and I would have liked to have spent an extra two days, I think. Another two days would have been perfect and I could have really made everything perfect. But the thing is, even though I'm a control freak and I want it done perfectly and beautifully, it doesn't need to be. When I was on Broadway, when I went to Broadway to, um, to do the show, um, I spent two full weeks just, just, just on masks, and um, and I, and they were the most, oh, they were, they were gorgeous. They were like, I think that was my best work ever, really, when it comes to perfection. But I've realised since doing that, when I've had to do them quickly because of the time involved, the time restrictions, that there's not much difference when you look at them on stage from spending two weeks to spending three days. If you know what you're doing, and I do know what I'm doing, and I'm such a control freak. Even the guy that we employ to actually manufacture the masks, he wanted to paint them like. Mm. No, 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 I'm going to do them all. Even though, like, it was three days, my hands were cramping, it was, like, it was hard work. Um, it was, I just, I don't trust anyone to deliver the product, but I know I will. And so after this stage, now I've got the painting done, and they're all lacquered and sealed, then um, we need to go put them back on the car, see them under lights to make sure that the skin tones match and that, that the, the painting is correct and that it, it all works in their faces. And then we glitter them and eyelash them and plastic on them, and they're ready to go. But they are a fascinating thing, and, um, and, and I want to share that with you. And so um, I will show you every step of the way when it comes, when it happens. But I'm gonna show you most of my work for Priscilla, I think, why not? Like I said, like usually, back in the day, you were never allowed to do photos or talk about it because they wanted to be in control of all the publicity. But now with social media, because it's such an incredible um, uh, advertising medium and it's free, that they really encourage us to, um, to you know, take photos and to talk about what we're doing, which is great. So now, you know, we can see. Because there's nothing worse, you spend, all this this big chunk of time doing something beautiful and creating this like lovely you know some work that you're really proud of and you can't show it except when it's on stage and it's so fleeting because like it's on stage it's off that's it guess who this is for go on guess but you can't guess i'm just <coughs> watching oh <coughs> what is it <coughs> it's just the wind <coughs> stop hey <coughs> just the wind just watching Big Brother. Oh, I love it. It's so exciting. Mm, I can't wait to get to have something good to watch every night. <laughs> Look at those norks. <laughs> well, I just finished episode. Oh, hello. <laughs> episode. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> episode. <laughs> uh, six. Day four highlights. <laughs> I really bet. Oh, and I'm hooked. Love it. Yes. Love it. Okay, so I'm trying this fucking mask again. I'm determined to see if it works. After the last time I did and I made my little posts, um, lots of people commented and replied and gave me advice of what I was doing wrong or what I wasn't doing right. You know, thanks for that, guys. And one of the pieces of advice was that I should exfoliate and steam my face first, open the pores. So I've done that and let's see if it works, shall we? 
last chance. Lily has been very mopey tonight. I think she knows it's our last night together for about a month. Oh, poor baby. Gonna miss her. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's not plugged in. Please hold. Let's see if this works, shall we? That's on. Certainly stuck to my face. At least they did that part right. I so want this to work. Nothing. Oh, oh, tiny, tiny bit. Not, not, nothing to write home about though. Oh yeah, there's a little bit. There's a few little bits there. Nothing, nothing much though. Nothing like, not like those videos on Facebook. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's tight. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, little tiny little bits. Okay. Oh. oh. Alright, well, this is my favourite bit, and the one bit that I really want to work with is my nose. Now, someone said that I was doing it all wrong, you gotta peel it upwards. Well, I've tried it every direction, it doesn't work. Anyway, let me see. Okay, well, I'm gonna just take that off. Hold on, I'll rip this off for you. Okay, let's see if I can do this upwards. Upwards. Oh. I can't really do it upwards. That's just silly. No, no, that's that's shit that way. I'm not doing it that way. No. Well, that actually did nothing on my nose. Nothing whatsoever. So anyway, let's try this. No, nothing. Alright, well, I exfoliated, I steamed, I peeled up. Nothing. So, I've tried everything, and I've got to say, this product is shit. Unless you've got really, really terrible skin. And you know what, if your skin's that bad, then you need something a bit stronger than a $6 internet fucking scam. You need to be going and seeing someone professionally, getting your shit sorted out. So anyway, there it is. And you know what, you can't beat the old-fashioned way. Bit of tissue, and a squeeze. Simple. Free. Piss off Facebook. Hi Celeste. Hello darling, you're a good girl. Hi Lilybet. Hi Maxwell. Maxwell's a cunt. Train stopped. Oh no. So it was important enough to not allow yes. same-sex people yes. to be equal, but yes. not important enough to try. As far as I was concerned, any protection that we already had, we should keep. My collar is off. A very interesting intellectual conversation. Lots of good points raised. Doing very well. I'm just packing for Melbourne. I'm wondering, should I take my hair? Like, it's going to be really hot down there, but I think having some hair would be nice, don't you? Sure. I could be my authentic elf. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will take my hair. I will. And you know what would be nice? I might even go to Krylon and buy some little elephants that I can wear. Yeah. Really be my authentic elf. Well, I'm checked in. 
I've packed, hopefully I've got everything, and I'm really excited to start this lovely adventure. Um, it's gonna be nice to get to Melbourne and just, just do Priscilla, just work, do beautiful wigs, do beautiful masks, do beautiful makeup, see lovely people, mm, it's lovely. I'm treating myself to a little airport burger and a beer, because why? I never treat myself. I forgot to ask for a window seat, so I'm sitting in the fucking aisle, but there's no one next to me, so I'm hoping that no one comes. Oh. Mm. 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 Mm.